have my ladies with me today, Janelle doing the modification and Christina doing the advance. All right, we're gonna start this at the front of your mat. So step to the front of your mat, inhale your arms up above your head and exhale your hands to heart center. In this moment, I want you to exhale any negativity and inhale love. Just breathe deeply right here and set your intention for this class. How do you wanna feel? Do you wanna feel playful? Do you wanna feel strong? Do you wanna feel more in your body? Feel that intention flowing through every cell of your body right now. Relax your hands down by your side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, step back for plank. Hold your plank for one second. Slowly lower your knees down, chest and chin comes down for cobra. Come all the way through, inhale. And relax down, exhale. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, melt down. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, melt down. Tuck your toes under, bend your knees, downward facing dog. And just breathe here, grounding down through your knuckles and fingertips, melting your heart towards your thighs. Bend your knees if you need to, and you can walk your toes up if your heels are high off the ground. Just really feel your strength and power here. One more breath here. And slowly walk to the front of the mat for ragdoll. Feet hip distance apart, grab opposite elbows and just let your head hang heavy. Gently rock from side to side, completely letting go of thought. Whatever happened before this moment, just completely let it go. Slowly release your hands and round up one vertebra at a time. Inhale your arms up overhead. And exhale your hands to heart center. And down by your side. Bring your feet together to touch and bend your knees for chair pose. Let your fingertips graze the ground or go towards the ground and lift your arms beside your ears. Sink deeper in your hips. Engage your core, sink a little bit lower. You got this. Hands to heart center and twist to your right. Twisting detoxes the body. Any negative emotions. Anything that you ate that wasn't healthy, just going right out with these nice twists. Inhale, arms up, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart center and twist to your left. I know those thighs are burning, mine are too. Continue to breathe. One more breath. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, let it go, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, bend your knees and step back for plank. Hold the plank for a second. Come to your knees if you need to. Remember to modify and do what feels best in your body. You can come down your knees or you can come down to chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing or cobra, your choice. Exhale, downward facing. Five deep breaths here, inhale. And exhale. Ujjayi breathing is in and out through your nose. Your lips are sealed so you can build heat in the body. This removes lactic acid, allows your body to repair even faster. So feel that breath in and out through your nose. Slight restriction in your throat. You'll sound like Darth Vader. <laughs> okay, bring your toes together to touch. Come up high up on your tippy toes and sing your right leg high to the sky. Bend the knee, open the hip, and look under the right armpit. Option to stay here or drop that foot behind you for a wild thing. Inhale, lift your hips. Slowly lower your hips down, 
Lift that leg high to the sky. And slowly shift your weight forward, knee to nose. Step through for crescent. Inhale, arms up. Beautiful, hands to heart center. Back heel is down for warrior two. Gaze over your back hand and make sure your back hand is coming straight out from your shoulder. And then sink into the front leg, gazing over your front. Reverse your warrior, back hand is down, top arm comes up and over, open the heart. Back to warrior two. Straighten the front leg, reach out over the toe for triangle pose. Gently flow with your breath, move however it feels good in your body. You can always gaze down for balance or up for a challenge, gazing up at your top hand. Really lengthen through the front leg. Bring the weight into the back hip. Maybe stretch up one more inch. And then slowly bend into the front knee. Warrior two. And windmill your hands down into the lunge. Step your right foot back to meet the left. Flow through your vinyasa using your knees. Flowing through cobra or upward facing. Ending in downward facing dog. Feel that flow. Feel your body heat increasing. It's exactly what you want. Toes coming together to touch. Left leg high to the sky. Come up high up on that right toe. Bend the knee, open the hip, and look underneath your left armpit. Option to stay here or drop that foot behind you. Inhale as you lift the hips up. Exhale, slowly lower the hips. Left leg high to the sky. Shift the weight forward, knee to nose, and step it through for crescent. Ground yourself, hands on the ground, and then come up nice and strong. You got this. Beautiful. Keep that ujjayi breath going. Hands to heart center, back heel is down, warrior two. Again, gaze over the back hand, make sure it's level with your shoulders. Then look over the front, come a little bit deeper in that front knee and reverse your warrior. Open the heart slightly towards the ceiling. One more breath. Warrior two. Straighten the front leg. Reach out over your front toe, triangle pose. Send that breath to wherever you need it. Any part of your body needs a little extra love, just breathe some love. Back to warrior two, bending the front knee and windmilling your arms down and flowing with the breath, slowly lowering down. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. Exhale, downward facing. Take your time to get there and breathe. Bring your knees down to the mat and come into tabletop. Hands directly underneath the shoulders, fingers facing out slightly. Come up, lifting your wrists off the ground and back down. Lift the wrist and back down. Just really stretching out your wrists up and down, moving with the breath to feel that energy flow through the wrists. Good. And relax. Bring your fingertips back towards your knees. Engage your core and slowly shift back. Stretching out the front of your arms. Just breathe into the stretch. Just back nice and gently. It's so important to get the blood flow into your wrists. Breathing. One more time, just like that. Nice, and it's gonna feel a little weird, but turn your pinkies towards each other. So you're gonna internally rotate the hand all the way around as much as you can get it, and then slowly, gently shift back on your hips. This is really gonna help stretch the outside of your wrist. Breathing. Good. 
and slowly bring your hands back forward. Now turn the backs of your hands down on the mat. This is gonna feel great on your wrists. Yeah. <laughs> or really painful, right ladies? <laughs> All right, spread your fingers wide. Just bend your elbows slightly and then straight. Micro bend in the elbows and then straight. Good, and then slowly turn your hands back to normal and lift your hips for downward facing dog. And toes come get together to touch. Right leg is high to the sky. Shift your weight forward knee to nose and place your foot between your hand, but this time parallel your feet on the mat to face forward. Take a deep inhale and exhale forward fold. Deep inhale and exhale fold deeper. Let your toes come in slightly and your heels come out. So you have that nice juicy bend in the knee so you can really release through the upper body. Just let everything hang heavy, shake your head. Yes, no, this feels good, kinda, maybe. <laughs> Completely let go and let gravity do the work. Slowly walk yourself over to the right side. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, melt. Whatever that looks like for you, just listen to the body. You feel the difference when you move your body from side to side, how it starts to open up more and more. Each time you do the video, you'll find yourself going deeper and deeper. Inhale, center. And over to the left. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, melt. And just breathe. Make sure you're doing that lovely ujjayi breath. I hear Christina over here. <laughs> Keep breathing. And slowly walk to center. And turn your heels in, your toes out this time. And we're gonna come up for goddess pose. So sink down deep into your goddess. It's okay to sway your hips from side to side. And you can have your hands at heart center or mudra of your choice. We're gonna try to raise that right heel. Good. Get that nice stretch and down. Good, this is a challenge. Feel free to stay here and just sit in it and then try to raise the opposite heel, good. Hold it for a second and then down. Good, and try to raise both heels up. This is very challenging, but you got this. Good, and slowly down, inhale, arms up. Exhale, clasp your hands behind your back. Turn your toes back in, bend your knees, and bring the arms up and over. Take your time to get there. It's a great shoulder opener for you to do at the end of the day. If your shoulders are feeling tight, just toss them over your head. <laughs> Slowly bend your knees and come back up nice and easy. Go ahead and face the front of your mat. Place the hands down at the front of your mat and bring your knees down. We're gonna prep for a camel pose. So knees are down, toes are tucked under. Inhale, come up and place your hands at heart center. Lift your heart and relax your head back. Hold it there, lift the heart even higher. Modification, place your hands on your lower back. Fingertips facing down, open the shoulders, elbows towards each other. Relax the head back, maybe one more inch. If you wanna go a little further, reach back for your heels, nice and easy, take your time, press the heels forward, open the shoulders. Breathe into the stretch, there's no rush. Slowly come up the same way you went in. So hands to lower back and then slowly down. We're gonna come into a child's pose after that. 
Knees in to touch and take your arms around your thighs, forehead to the ground. Deep inhale, exhale, sigh it all out. Another deep inhale, exhale, sigh it out. And then slowly come up and plant your hands down and cross your ankles and come to sit back on your sit bones. Slide up on your mat, we're gonna come into boat pose. So bring your shins parallel to the mat, engage your core, bring your knees together to touch, arms up beside your thighs or modify. Check out your nail over there, looking beautiful. Now together we're gonna slowly lower down and back up. Slowly lower down and back up. You got this, lower down and back up. Really focus on your core, squeeze those thighs together. Feel your power, feel your strength. Even if you fall out, just breathe and hold it if you need to. A couple more right here. You got this. Feel that connection. And knees into the chest, hold it and hold it and hold it. Maybe straighten the legs for one breath. Beautiful, and then slowly bring the feet down. Scoot the hips towards the heel. Engage your core and slowly lie down on your back. Nice and gentle. Place your palms on the ground. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, side out. Again, deep inhale. And exhale, side out. Bring the knees into the chest. Grab on the outside of the feet for happy baby. Bring the knees on the side of the body and bring them down towards the ground as much as you can. The trick is here is rolling your sacrum down to really get a nice long spine, bending the elbows. And you can play with your happy baby. You can grab your toes, bend one leg and bend the other. <sighs> Breathing through the stretches. Good. Bring the legs up towards the sky. Good. And place the hands underneath the hips, palms facing down. Oh yeah, we're rocking that core today. You get the stretch and the core work, right? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Slowly right leg down to the ground. And back up. Left leg down. And back up. Both legs down halfway. And back up. Nice, right leg down. And back up, left leg down, and back up, both legs down. Good. Bring the knees into the chest, and extend them out and down. Knees into the chest, and out and down. One more time, into the chest, you got this. Out and down. Good, knees into the chest and hold it there. Gently rock from side to side, take a deep inhale. And exhale, side out. Keep your right knee into the chest, left leg long. Flex both feet, extend the right leg towards the sky. Grab on behind the thigh, the calf, or the big toe. Take a deep inhale, forehead to knee, lift up. And exhale, relax back. Now go ahead and take that leg out to the right, but keep the left leg grounded out to the right while you turn your head to the left. This is really gonna open up the hip and working on your flexibility at the same time. So you're getting the best of both worlds. Breathe here. I invite you to close your eyes and just feel and breathe into your legs. And slowly bend the knee, bring that knee into the chest. And take it across your body for a spinal twist. Deep inhale. <clears throat> and exhale, twist the head and arm the opposite direction. Slowly bring the knee back into the chest. Give it a little kiss. 
air kiss and <laughs> switch sides. All right, flex both feet towards the face. Bring that knee in nice and tight and then straighten it towards the sky. Grab on behind the thigh, the calf, or take your peace fingers and wrap it around your big toe. Engage your core, forehead to knee. And slowly back down. Grounding that bottom leg down, take your left leg out to the left. First, you can follow it with your eyes, but then turn your head the opposite direction. Janelle, modifying with the knee bent if you need it. Find what feels good in your body. Slowly bring that knee into the chest. For a spinal twist, take that knee across your body. Go ahead and make sure that knee comes all the way down. Stack your shoulders. Inhale that left arm up and slowly cactus the arm and allow gravity to take it down. Deep inhale and exhale. See if you can lengthen your spine even longer. Maybe you're playing with this stretch and moving the arm up one inch or down one inch. And then just close your eyes and surrender. kiss, Mwah. bring both knees into the chest. Gently rock from side to side. Feel that connection, cross your ankles, rock forward and back on your spine. And rock yourself all the way up to a comfortable seated position. Bring your left leg under and your right leg over. Turn, twist to the right. Place your right hand down, lengthen through your spine. And then slowly turn back to the front and stack your knees to the best of your ability. Breathing, shifting from side to side. Take a deep inhale and exhale, fold forward. Deep inhale. Exhale, go a little bit deeper. Completely surrender your head. Feel how good it feels to relax, to allow your body time to rejuvenate and regenerate. Breathe into those tight spaces. Slowly come up one vertebra at a time. Okay, so you have an option to do this or you have an option to opt out, but I'm gonna show you a cool little 360 party trick, you're gonna place your hands to your left and you're going to turn around all the way to the opposite side. Oh yeah, my ladies are ready for the party. <laughs> okay, you can practice that as many times as you need to. So go ahead and prop that left foot up and turn to the right. Press the left hand down, lengthen through the spine. Just get a nice spinal twist here. Deep inhale and exhale, relax. Looking over that left shoulder. And then turn towards the front and try stacking your knees for cow face pose. As much as you can, shift your hips from side to side, get nice and comfy, inhale. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale. Exhale, go deeper. To 
completely surrender. And slowly make your way up one inch at a time. And bring your feet out in front of you. Place your feet to the corner of your mat and slowly engage your core and lie down for Shavasana. Palms facing up. Take a deep inhale. And sigh it out, exhale. And now we will begin our meditation. I'm going to start this meditation with a little bit of eye yoga. The eyes can carry a lot of stress and strain from our computers and our phones. So keeping your eyes closed, look all the way down, as far as you can down. And then look to the right, as far as you can to the right. And then look up. as far as you can up. And then look to the left, as far as you can to the left. And then look down again. Starting at six o'clock, we're gonna go the opposite direction, but we're gonna hit all the numbers. So we'll breathe here at six o'clock. Seven o'clock, eight o'clock. Looking as far as you can at eight o'clock, nine o'clock. Feeling that tension go away, 10 o'clock. 11. 12. One, looking all the way up to one o'clock, slightly over for two. And three. And four. And five. and six. And now zigzag, looking left and right, right and left, traveling all the way to, from the top of your eye sockets all the way down to the bottom. Left, right, right, left. Breathing. <sighs> feeling how good it feels to massage your eyes from the inside, and then look up and down, all the way down, as far as you can down, and then up, all the way up, as far as you can up, and relax, completely relax. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, side up. Allow your body to become weightless. Repeat the mantra in your mind, I am powerful. I am powerful. See yourself leaving any judgments, frustrations, doubt, any worry. See yourself leaving it on your mat as you rise above it, standing in your power. Allow all the things that don't serve you 
to melt into your mat as you become lighter and lighter, weightless. Over your fingers, over your tongue. Bring your awareness back to your body. Bring your knees into your chest, nice and slowly. Gently rock from side to side. Rock over to your left side and pause. Hand underneath your head. Take a moment to visualize yourself in your mother's womb, nurtured by your practice and ready to be birthed again with a clean slate, powerful mind, strong spirit. Slowly press yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Bring your hands to the heart center. Inhale, your hands up overhead, looking up. Exhale, your hands down. Wrap your right arm across your chest, your left arm across your chest, and give yourself a big hug. You did it, and I'm proud of you. Namaste. Give my ladies a hand clap, Janelle and Christina. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for joining us again. We really appreciate you. Remember, when you take care of yourself, you take care of the world. Thank you.